Hi everyone, so I wanted to share with you today how I make my little peppermint candy charms. I think they are so stinking cute. So these peppermint beads are from Michaels and then these bellflowers are from Amazon. Now the bellflowers were very pricey. I'm usually very cheap and frugal about my craft spending, but I splurged for these because I thought they were the perfect bead to make it look like the wrapper. So I did go ahead and splurge on those. I'll leave a link to them down below. And then I just needed my head pin. So these are all the ones that I have made so far. I just think they are so pretty. And I'm just loving making beads right now. I usually do more paper crafting. But I don't know what it is that there's just so many really cute ideas out there. That I've just been wanting to make a bunch of beads. So... Oh, and I also have these flowers that I haven't tried yet, but we're going to try them today on camera. So I have my two inch head pin here, and then I'm going to take my bell flower. Now the first bead needs to go with the opening of the flower pointing down. And then you put on your peppermint bead. And then your next flower the opening of the flower is going to be facing up. So there we go. We have our little peppermint with the candy wrappers on each end. We're going to take our round pliers and just bend it back so it looks like this. Then turn the pliers so that they're now stacked on top of each other. Swing the wire around so now it looks like this then remove and replace the bottom of the plier to the loop and then i'll just twist it around and then snip off the extra wire now i do need some new wire cutters i've been making so many beads and charms that they are not cutting as well as they once did so I definitely need to go out and buy some new ones and then I just kind of make sure it's straight because I like it to be nice and straight so there we go there's our little cute peppermint so I did want to try one with these other ones now I did buy these flowers also from Amazon so I want to try it with this just to see how it looks so we have our two inch head pin and the same thing with this one this is the opening of the flower so that's gonna go okay well this is the opening of the flower this is gonna go in first then we're gonna take our peppermint bead and then the other flower goes facing up and that's what it looks like um it's okay i love these more i think these are cuter maybe if these were clear i would like it more let me just make it anyways and see if it ends up growing on me so again i'm gonna bend the wire this way swing the pliers this way swing the wire around remove it put the bottom of the round nose pliers into the loop and then just swing and twist this around and then cut off the extra wire here And there we go. So there's this one with the green flowers. Let's try one with the red. So I have my head pin here. Going to put the opening of the flower face down. Put our peppermint bead. Oh, I think I like the red better. Then put our other flower with the opening up. Oh yeah, I think I like this way better than the green one. So where's the green one? So here's the one with the green flowers. It's okay. Not my favorite, but 
I definitely like it better with the red. But my absolute favorite are these little white. Well, they're not white. They're clear with like um, iridescence on it. So they're kind of like shiny. Do you see right here? So these are my favorite. But these red ones are still really pretty also. So we're just going to do the same thing. Bend our wire back. Turn the plier so they're now stacked. Swing the wire over. Take the pliers out. Put the bottom one into the loop. And then just twist. And then cut off the extra wire. There we go. So here are my three different versions. Like I said, this one is still my favorite. I still think it's the prettiest one. Um, I might check to see if they have this in clear because I kind of like the size of these, how they're bigger. So if you see, these flowers are bigger than these. So I'm liking the size of these. So I'm going to see if I can find these in clear because in my multi-pack, there was not any clear ones. There was green, this green, this red, a blue, and a pink. So I'm going to see if maybe I can find some of these in clear because I think that would be really pretty. I'm really loving the size and the shape of flower. But these clear ones over here are still my favorite. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you give these a try. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.